welcome to my channel my name is tiny owner of tiny's creations and today we're working on a 3d tumbler freddy cougar's hand well freddy cougar's claw um if you want to purchase one of these just you can message me on facebook i'm taking orders um this is actually an order i know it's not for halloween then past halloween but this is for an order, so if you want to learn how to make it, just keep watching. Okay, so with this cup here, I sanded it down completely. I washed it, let it dry, and then I sprayed with this Rust Oleum two times spray paint. And now I'm going to do the stripes in this green Rust Oleum two times spray paint back so tacky i'm gonna take the tape off so we could reveal the stripes and there's the stripes okay so first and foremost excuse my birds in the background loud right now but um okay so here i unfortunately lost some footage and basically what i did was i bought um i have some epoxy clay same thing as epoxy equal parts measure it out equal parts and then with this you knead it together all the way through until you see one solid color there's no streaks of the other color because the epoxy scalp um it comes with like a dark gray and a very light gray so you make sure when you combine it together you don't see any streaks it's fully kneaded and blended together so what i did while i have my glove on i just put enough and, and just smoothed it out made it flat enough to where it's the palm part of my hand and that's when I added it to the cup started smoothing it out and trying to make it look as realist as realistic as a hand as possible or a glove again sorry about the birds smoothing as you go just make sure you keep it that same shape and then we're going to go and add on the fingers and the thumb. And just make sure they're at least a decent size. Like I said, just try to reference as best as you can off of your hand. And I mean, if you have a big hand, try to go a little smaller. If you have a small hand, try to either keep it that size or bring it a little bit bigger but you don't want it too big to where it overpowers the whole cup i mean that's the 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 focus then the breadwinner of the cup <laughs> so you want to make sure it's not too big but not too small just do it like a perfect size if you need to get someone else's hand to reference then put a glove on them and you could either trace their hand that's what i did for my first cup i traced my hand on a paper and then i just build the clay up like that um but then again this is clay so it sticks to everything it was kind of hard to to get it off the paper so i find it a little easier when you put a glove on your hand and base it off of that um it just it gives you more control when you do it that way, I feel. So just make sure when you connect the fingers to the hand, it looks like our hand, one whole piece, smoothed out completely. You don't want to see any, like, creases in between the finger and the palm part of the hand because it's that's not supposed to look. It's supposed to be all completely one, like a normal glove or hand. So try to mimic your hand or get a picture of freddy cougar's glove and you can base it off of that as well because that's what i did for my first time making this cup i just printed some pictures off of google of his claw just to try to mimic and be as realistic as possible 
with the gloves. Here I'm just pinching the top edges of the knives part of the clay of the glove just to make it look like it's really like knives, you know, like his claw. Try to make it look like the top edge is like a regular knife. How they're skinny and smooth on the top and pointy, sharp looking towards the bottom. So that's how you want to do the nice part of the glove try to make it like i said try to reference off the pictures and make it look as close as possible to what's in the pictures and you'll get it
I have a jar with water that I put alcohol in just because I like to make sure my brushes are completely clean after each use. Three paints from Apple Bell. It's silver, chestnut, and then a brown oxide. The chestnut I use for the whole glove itself. And then the silver is to paint the claw. The claw and the chestnut would be just to make the cup well not the cup the glove look dirty like freddy cougar's his glove isn't clean it's not new looking so try to make it like i said realistic as possible so just do like light brushes of the brown after you let this chestnut completely dry i put like three coats and then I went ahead and just did like small strokes of the brown just to make it look a little dirty. Just make sure when you're painting you get all the edges completely covered. Try to be as careful as possible especially when you get around the edges just because you don't want to paint the cup. Uh, me, I skip this step. You, I would recommend after you spray paint the cup and let it dry completely, put a thin layer of epoxy just so when you go to add on your 3D image, it's easier to clean the cup and when you paint, it's easier to take the paint off the epoxy versus trying to get the paint off the spray paint, which is a little harder. But if you're good at painting, then go ahead, go for it. But like I said, just try to be as careful as possible. Forgot to mention, before you even start to paint, I would say let this, um, let any 3D design dry overnight. Just so when you paint it, you don't have to worry about the paint sticking to the clay while it's wet. Um, this clay, it gets rock solid hard. So whatever you stick it to, it's not coming off. So make sure once you put it on your cup, that's how you want it and how it needs to be or whatever. And you won't have no issue because once it dries, it's like I said, rocks are lit and that's not coming off.
So unfortunately, more footage was lost, but after I painted the glove entirely, I let it dry completely, and now I'll just put it on my spinner. And so just make sure you smooth it out, do it in sections. I did the glove first, just to make sure that was completely covered. Just make sure you get all in the sides where it meets the cup, just so it's a better seal. And just try to get it as smooth as possible. I put three layers of epoxy just to make sure it's completely sealed and the claw itself is completely covered. Um, just make sure in between the coats. Well, the first coat, I just sand it down. You can do a light sand. Do not sand your 3D design because it, you'll chip off the paint and you'll just have to repaint and do over, do it all over. So just sand the cup itself if it needs to be sanded. If not, then just go ahead with another layer of epoxy. Let it dry completely. I, like I said, added three coats in total just to keep it secure. It's fine. Then once it's all dry, just go ahead and clean the inside of the cup if you have to. If not, it'd be better for you, but I just say still clean the inside of the cup because you never know what gets inside. And then you'll be all set. So this is the cup spinning. Like I said, I'm gonna add two more coats after this completely dries. And we're all set. Thanks for watching. See you next time.